Okay, everyone. It's Sunday in Manitoba, Canada. It's a beautiful Sunday. It's like plus three outside. And it's perfect conditions for painting. So, as you can see, I'm painting the girlfriend's 55 window. And as you can see, I did the roof already, I did the bumper. I also did the inside of the box as well. The last thing you need is to see my underwear while I'm reaching to paint that roof. So I figured I'd do it now. And as you can see, I put the whole vehicle in primer. It's a, a real high build surfacer. I figured I'd use it because there's just so many dents and scratches and whatnot. This surfacer takes it right out and fills it like nobody's business. And yeah, there you have it. So today I'm gonna paint the truck black. And then I'm gonna paint the green on after that. But so I'm gonna scotch break all of this black. And then I'm gonna paint the green. And then I'm gonna paint, put a clear coat over top of that. So it's okay if you run this and whatever. As you can see, the body's far from perfect. Far, far from perfect. But it's not ugly either. It's not overly bad, but I just didn't want it to look like an absolute pile of crap. So, so there you have it. I'm going to take you off there and give them a walk around what I've done. I decided to spend a day just on bodywork. Just one day. Nothing too extreme. This is not going to SEMA or nothing like that. So... This is going to be the girlfriend's beat around truck and to take to shows like she's got a clothing line. She's made all my clothes. So it's okay if you even run this stuff. This is just like the cheapest black. I walked into the paint store on Friday and I said, I need the cheapest black you got in the store. Cause I'm just going to scotch bright it and paint over it anyways and make it look ugly and old. So you can run this you if you want, if you don't have to, <laughs> but yeah, as you can see, I did the box already. Tailgate's just beat, but whatever. It's going to be an awesome little ride. The only thing she wants rusty is the step boards. So, I don't know. The only thing I taped up was the steering column. This is nothing really in there. I'm going to repaint the inside anyways. So there you have it. You're going to watch me paint this sucker black today. Yeah, this primer is like super nice stuff. I'm going to show you what I used. This is the primer here. And then uh, I'm going to use just ordinary rattle can spray bomb for the green. And I used the cheapest clear I got, nothing too expensive. Basically, I'm just cleaning out my cupboards when it comes to painting my rat rods. And there's the black paint I got. It's just from a five gallon pail, they just poured into a one gallon and 60 bucks, it's yours. All right, that works. And you gotta reduce it just a tad so it goes through the gun, it's pretty thick. So yeah, I'm gonna get uh, painting, get her done, and then I'm gonna come back tomorrow and scotch bright the whole truck, and then give it a wipe down, and then I'm gonna put the green on, and then the clear coat, and I'm gonna bring you along with me. Exciting, see I took I left a few dents and chips and whatnot. It's far, far from perfect. This fender was pretty beat, but look at the old paint bled through a bit. Who knows what that was in places, but this black cover is like nobody's business. I don't know what it's for, but it was cheap. All right, let's get painting.
All right, everyone. There is the first coat of the black cheap paint. It covers nice and stuff. It's not gonna take a lot. As you see, that body really shows how wavy it is now. <laughs> but not bad. Good enough. Good enough. Not supposed to be perfect. But it's not bad. Not bad. So that is the first coat. As you can see, there's a little line right there. It's a little thin. A little thin in spots here and there. In the corners. As you can see, I gave a lot of attention up in those corners there. Tailgate. She's black. And wavy. She's got some waves to her. So yeah, there is the first coat. I'm gonna do one more. And then I'm gonna let it dry overnight. And then I'm gonna hit it with the scotch brights. And then we're gonna do the green. We're gonna work the magic with the green rattle can. And then we're gonna scuff it one more time. And then we're gonna hit it with the clear coat. All right, here we go. is finished I know it looks like crap eh kind of blotchy and wavy the body's super wavy but just wait just wait till I get the green on here that's that's where the magic's gonna happen and then get the clear on here oh yeah she's wavy. oh yeah but that's okay that is okay when it's wavy, it gets dense and scratches. Who really cares? That's why I love rat rods. You get a dent, it just adds more character. I could take it to work and people that don't care about anything, door ding you all the time. It's okay. It's okay. But not too shabby. So I'm gonna let this dry overnight. And then I'm gonna start scotch brighting it and getting it ready for the next stage of this paint job. Huge step right there, huge. All right. There you have the old Chevy. She's all rubbed down. I just scuffed her up. Now I got a nice blank canvas to put the green on. I did a little sample spray there. Just a little mist on there, just to see how it goes on the black, how dark it's going to be. But there you have it, eh? All scuffed down. 
Like I said before, I'm going to do the inside after. Just like that. I have a blank canvas. Now I'm going to do some art. Oh yeah. Big step forward. Good morning, everyone. It's paint day today. We're doing it. Excited about it. Today we're doing the green on the black. As you can see, I asked the paint gods for some help today and they were willing to help me. I got my cheat sheets here and I got my spray bombs and we're gonna do this. I got the go ahead from the girlfriend that this was the color. So yeah, it is definitely paint day. So I'm gonna put the green on. I'm gonna scotch break this in places. I'm going to miss black on where I went too much green. So I'm going to bring you along with me with that one. And, and then I'm going to clear the whole truck after that. Alrighty. Exciting, exciting day. Let's do this. There you have it, boys and girls. And for those people that drink Bud Light, here it is. This is what I've created. This is just the rough green. It went around everywhere where it's gonna be like headlight buckets so the green will just come out a bit. And around the hood ornament there, around the windows. But this is really rough. I've used uh, so far a can and a half of the green rattle. Not too much green, not too much. She wants more black than green. Just like the hint of green. So now I'm gonna mimic the other side, just like this, just like this. So I'm probably gonna be able to do this truck in probably about three cans of the rattle can at the rate I'm going here. Like I said, more black than green. So now I'm just gonna mimic this side. You can see I already started, got carried away. And then I'm gonna scotch bright this and I might put a little bit of black just to, if it is too much green, I might put a little bit of black and then I'm gonna feather the green into the black with the scotch bright. And I'm gonna probably just leave the tailgate as it is. It's beautifully beat up. We're just gonna leave it like that. And the box too, I'm not touching that. It's got that semi-gloss single stage paint in there. We're just gonna leave it like that. And the back, I'm pretty much, I'm gonna leave that little bald there. And the top I'm leaving bald too. Unlike me, I have beautiful hair. And yeah, so I'm gonna get this sucker in clear today. Excited. It's supposed to be a nice day today. Perfect day to clear. You want it warmer, the better for the clear, less chance of running, but it doesn't really matter because I can put this on as dry as I want because it's a rat rod and it'll still show off beautifully. All right, let's get cooking on this one. All right, 
right, people. This is where I'm leaving it. I'm going to let this dry for about an hour. And then I'm going to come back and start scotch brighting all of it. And touching it up where I think it may need a little bit. But, yep, that's it. Just a... Just enough green to break up the black. Yeah, you can see the dents in the cowl. Oh, left them. Adds character. It's pretty much identical to each side. Oh yeah, those are rusty. I scotch brighted those already. I didn't want any paint on those, so they got taped. I'll peel that off when I clear the whole thing. But that's it. That's it for now. That didn't take a long time. I bet I spent just over an hour doing this. Simple, but will be effective. So now I'm going to spend an hour relaxing. Then I'm going to come back and I'm going to spend roughly another hour scotch brighting and touching up things here and there and everywhere. And then I'll get it ready for the clear coat. Exciting. Get my booth ready for the paint, for the clear. I have to use my exhaust fans for that one. It gets pretty thick in here once you start hammering on the clear. All right. Well, it's go time. The base is all done. As you saw in the time lapse, I had to put some black in, some extra green in to break it up so it doesn't look so stenciled in. There you have it. As you see, the body's pretty wavy, eh? It's far from mint. Gonna clear right over that love rust. I usually take way, way more precautions when I'm doing my nice vehicles, but this one here, who gives a crap? But it'll still be awesome. I usually wet the floors and do a major cleanup and all kinds of stuff, but this one, you can cut so many steps out. All right, time to clear this son of a gun. time to finish up this video thanks for watching I know she's a long one but look at this look at that not bad from what it was to what it is now not bad I'm gonna do a walk around with you 
there you have it. Not bad for the cheapest clear on the market. That's what I like, so it'll fade quick. She's wavy, but she's nice. Now it puts all the fixings back on and then it'll break everything up. Even that wavy tailgate. Hope you learned something from this. And I'm sure there'll be a few comments and a few bad ones from the way I paint sitting on my wheelie stools, but I'm old and I'm lazy. <laughs> and it's just like welding, you gotta be comfortable. If you're comfortable, you can be a good welder. If you're comfortable, you can be a good painter. Yeah, not one run, <laughs> not one run. Maybe because of all the dents filled them in. But yeah, there you have it. That's what the girlfriend wants, that's what the girlfriend gets. So now I'll put her all back together. I'm gonna let it harden for about a day or two before I do anything else to her. I gotta do some daily grocery getter work, but we're just gonna leave this one here for now. Yeah, so if you like this video, and if you want to continue following this project, like and subscribe, hit the not notification button, and join the J-Rides Customs family. All right, this is the end of this video. Peace out, and happy Easter. Oh, 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 oh,